There appear to be two different sets of facts when it comes to separating families illegally crossing our border. We're talking about immigration. Right. One side says this must be done to follow the law. The other side says there is no law that says you have to separate children from their parents. We dug into this yesterday. Tonight, we go even deeper. We verify statements by the president made in the last 24 hours regarding his border strategy. President Trump spoke publicly twice on Tuesday, first at a small business summit and second with reporters on Capitol Hill. Here's what the president said about the increase in people seeking asylum in the United States over the last decade. There's been a 1,700 percent increase in asylum claims over the last 10 years. Think of that. We're a great country, but you can't do that. We can verify that this statement is true. According to a 2016 DHS Office of Immigration Statistics report, which is the most recent version, the raw number of asylum claims known as credible fear screenings were 5,100 in 2008 and 92,000 in 2016. That is a 1,700 percent increase. Also, annual asylum applications have tripled in the last three years, according to DHS, and there are 603,000 asylum cases either backlogged or pending as of February. I don't want children taken away from parents. And when you prosecute the parents for coming in illegally, which should happen, you have to take the children away. Now, we don't have to prosecute them, but then we're not prosecuting them for coming in illegally. The question here, to prosecute adults crossing the border illegally, does the government need to separate families? The answer is yes and no. Here's Trump's explanation. Under U.S. immigration law, crossing the border, not at an entry point, is a misdemeanor. It's a criminal offense, and it's punishable by deportation, fine, or six months jail. At the same time, a 1997 legal settlement says children can't be detained for more than 20 days. So in the president's point of view, his hands are tied. Parents now criminally charged go left, and their children, protected by the law, must go right through a process designed for kids without parents present. And then here's why opponents say no. Before this zero tolerance policy in April, the Trump administration itself allowed an estimated 100,000 undocumented immigrant families to be released from custody together. This was a carryover policy from the Obama administration known as catch and release. Instead of criminal prosecution, DHS sent them to the civil side of the court allowing them to stay together. The Obama administration used a program called Alternatives to Detention to monitor parents while keeping them with their children. Also, according to a fact sheet from DHS, any immigrant, even those who cross the border illegally, can file a claim for asylum. So the president says, well, just take the legal way. Go to a port of entry. We'll accept you here and you can process your asylum claim. We won't separate your family. Just do it the legal way, right? Well, there are reports that the government is not accepting people in these illegal right. borders. They're making them wait there. Or they're changing and, and, and at the same time moving the goalposts on who qualifies for asylum. Right. If you've been on this journey, yeah. how would you know that? That's right. And finally, according to the Supreme Court, it is up to prosecutors. They have discretion on who they want to charge and who they don't. It's just how it works. We don't have the system to prosecute every single person that commits every single crime. Right. Same way the counties work right now. That's right. And other administrations have decided, well, we're not going to prosecute the parents that same way because we don't want to split up the families. Uh, Trump has said, no, we're going to go that route. And that's just how it is right now.